Hello, Peter. Hello there. Hello, and welcome to Small Screen. Today we're talking about Spider-Man No Way Home since the film's very first trailer was released earlier this week, after having been leaked. Specifically, Spider-Man No Way Home theories and predictions. If you could like this video and subscribe, that would mean a lot to us and help us grow. We're getting very close to hitting a milestone. And did you know that every single sub saves a Tuvix, or destroys a Tuvix, depending on your preference? I hope it's pronounced Tuvix. How about Tuvix? Right, theory number one, and that's that Peter Parker's lawyer will be Matt Murdock. Okay, if James has done his homework correctly, then he would have singled out the frame in which people believe they've spotted Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock in the trailer. It's the moment when Peter is being questioned by some dude, I think it's a detective, but he could also be part of that organisation that Tony Stark set up that basically made Michael Keaton's character turn into the vulture. Right, so in the shot, you can see a man in a white shirt throw down a big folder on the desk right in front of Peter. So this is actually something that Matt Murdock did a lot during his Netflix Daredevil series. But could this really be Cox's Murdock, whom various scoopers have been claiming will be in the movie for what seems like a decade now? Well, it could be, but this guy in the trailer does seem a little thicker around the waist than Charlie Cox. But something tells me that this isn't Matt Murdock. What I will say is I think Murdock will be in the movie, they just haven't revealed him yet. I'm pretty certain that Matt Murdock will represent Peter in court, and we know thanks to this trailer that he will be going to court to clear his name of being tied to Spider. Spider-Man. Theory number two, Doctor Strange isn't Doctor Strange. Yes, so Doctor Strange is in the movie and he seems to be the one who in a way causes the multiverse to open. I mean, you can also blame Peter who suddenly seemed to realise that by making all the people in the world forget he's Spider-Man, his loved ones will also forget his Spidey secret. I mean, come on Peter, you're a super smart scientist, think things through. Right, back onto Doctor Strange. There are a number of people who think this isn't the actual Doctor Strange but an imposter. Our good friends over at Geekosity came up with a really good theory which I think you should go and check out because I will not do it justice. But I will give you the cliff notes, people think this Doctor Strange could actually be Mephisto in disguise, or the MCU's iteration of the character. Yes people, it's Mephisto again! Now I'm not sure it's actually Mephisto but I do like the idea that Doctor Strange could be under the influence of some other nefarious player here. Mikey posited the theory that it could be a combination of Mephisto and Nightmare, which I think could be right. Whatever the case, Doctor Strange seems, well, stranger than usual in this No Way Home trailer. Why would he agree to do a spell that is so dangerous, and also, why wouldn't he listen to Wong? Oh, and by the way, where's Wong off to? Is this him packing his bags to go off and fight Abomination in Shang-Chi? Possibly. Spider-Man No Way Home theory number three, the lizard will be in the movie. Another theory that I like is that we actually got a little glimpse of the lizard in the trailer. It's the moment where Peter Parker seems to be in what looks like Doctor Strange's cellar. There's a box behind Peter Parker that you can see and there seems to be some sort of lizardy hand in it that tries to take a swipe at him, but then there's like a magical barrier that stops him from actually clutching Peter's shoulder. People online think this is the lizard trapped inside the box that you also see at some point in the trailer. Spider-Man No Way Home Theory number 4, Miles Morales will be introduced in the movie. Right, Theory number 4 is a bit of a long shot, but I do like long shots. So I noticed that some people think we saw Miles Morales' mother in the trailer, and I think they're right. It's the point in the trailer where you see Peter in a suit and he's in front of a car. There's a woman in the car, and many people believe this woman to be Miles Morales' mother. Miles has already been referred to in these Sony Marvel Spider-Man movies. In Spider-Man Homecoming, Spidey stopped Aaron Davis, played by Donald Glover, from buying weapons. Well, Aaron Davis Davis in the comics becomes the Prowler, who also happens to be Miles Morales' uncle. Aaron even mentions that he has a young nephew in that scene, well, that's Miles he's talking about. So, we might get to see Miles in the movie, which would make sense given that he's about the right age now after the whole snap thing happened in Avengers Infinity War. If Miles wasn't dusted, which I'm pretty sure he wasn't, then he would be five years older and probably a teenager by now, and might be about to get his powers. And theory number five, I think that the box that we see in the trailer is actually going to be super important. It's actually been rumoured that this box is what Doctor Strange uses to capture all of the Spidey villains. So, the rumour is that the Green Goblin will convince Peter to steal the box because Doctor Strange plans on never letting them leave. He has a history of doing this sort of thing, I mean look at how he managed to beat Dormammu in the first Doctor Strange film. So this is why Peter steals the box and is why Strange is chasing him in the trailer. At least this is what I think. Peter is convinced by the Green Goblin, aka Norman Osborn, that he needs to steal the box and return each villain to their respective timelines via the multiverse. 
However, I'm pretty sure that this plan will go wrong and that the Sinister Six, whom I'm pretty sure will be in the movie, will double cross Peter somehow. But this does make me think of a bonus theory slash prediction for you guys. Oh, but before I get onto that bonus theory, there's another bonus theory for you guys, and this is James's theory. So here's James's theory for you guys, and he says that when Spider-Man is zapped out of his body holding that box, it could be the time stone that he tried to steal from Doctor Strange to fix people knowing his identity. Or the box he is holding helps him travel through the multiverse, and the shot of Doctor Strange, the out-of-body thing with Spider-Man, is Spider-Man meeting another another Doctor Strange in another multiverse. It could also be that Scarlet Witch has had Doctor Strange under her influence this whole time. He'll use any excuse the first chance he gets to do a spell like this for Wanda, combining through the multiverse to find her sons and her brother and Vision. So if you're not aware, Marvel went back to that last post credit scene of WandaVision and added a figure that looks like Doctor Strange in an invisibility cloak flying over the mountains towards Wanda's cabin. You know what, James, you've got a point actually. You have got a point there. Uh, and yes, another theory is an obvious one that we'd like to mention, and that's that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are going to be in this movie. So it's been rumoured for ages that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man will be in this film. And well, we kind of have concrete proof in Alfred Molina being back as Doc Ock, and that really helps to reinforce this theory. If they are in the film, will they be in it for a substantial amount of time, or will they just be in it at the end, or even a post credit scene? Honestly, I think we can say for sure that Spider-Man No Way Home will feature them in some manner. Right, finally onto my bonus theory, and that's that Doctor Strange is working for the movie's real villain. Now, I know this kind of ties into theory number two, but I just wanted to expand on it a little. Okay, so I'm not sure that Doctor Strange is actually Mephisto in this movie. However, what I think is happening here is that Nightmare is involved somehow. Or it could be Madam Web who's contacted Doctor Strange and warned him that all this would happen. However, both of these Marvel characters do like to trick or test people. Either way, I'm leaning more towards Doctor Strange being influenced by someone or something. I wonder whether this whole thing is actually a test for Peter and that Strange is under instructions to cast a spell and release the Spider-Man villains. He'll then trap them in some sort of magical box, and this will be a part of another person's plans. So, I'm thinking that Strange thinks he's doing all of this for the right reasons. However, one thing I believe that will happen in this movie is that at some point in it, both characters will come to reveal that they've been tricked. Peter by possibly the Green Goblin, and Doctor Strange by someone like Nightmare, maybe Mephisto, or maybe even Madame Webb. Now I know this is a stretch, but it does kind of make sense to me. Let me know what you think about these, and let me know your Spider-Man No Way Home theories and predictions in the comments. Again, we do read all of them. Finally, it'd be great if you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps us grow this channel, and also you'll save a Tubix, or destroy a Tubix, whatever your preference. Mr. Tubix. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video. Pew, 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 pew.